homemade uh, 11 meter antenna. That's a piece of uh, half inch PVC with a cap on the top and the bottom. 3 8 24 thread bolt in the bottom of it. That's how we get it into that mount right there. Drill a hole and put a nut. Wrap the wire around it. Drill a hole from the PVC for the wire to go into. And just uh, wrap it up. Keep wrapping, 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 wrapping. Until you get to the top there and make yourself a coil up there. Well, that coil is uh, tightly wrapped at about five, four and a half, five inches. Tight, you know. And uh, you got it run into here. Actually, you got a inductance match right there. Match it with an inductance match because this fan just doesn't have a good grounding system. And with that right there, we achieve perfect SWR channel 38. Hello, radio 12345. And if we go down to hello radio, still perfect. Let's take it down to channel 19. Test 12345, still perfect. This channel one test radio channel one is 1.5. Let's roll way up. Hmm. Let's, check here. Let's go to 27.555. Hello radio 1.3. This is a wide banded antenna. Hello. Radio 1.5 at 27,685. So 27, um, 27,965 to 27,685. That's a super wide antenna with a really great end, uh, SWR. So pretty cool design. Just like I said, some half inch PVC, two caps, 3 8 24 count, a thread uh, bolt the nut and uh, I think it was like an inch and a quarter long and then some 14 gauge uh, coated wire stuff like you get at CarQuest or something like that or a card you know parts dealer 14 gauge wire wrap it up around about an inch apart and when you get to the top make yourself a tightly wound coil about four inches and then just start trimming off until you get your SWR where you want it have a good day. This is uh, W4FFX.